Hi everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Megan. I'm a certified holistic nutritionist and I share videos every single week on healthy living, holistic lifestyle, tips and recipes. And if you're not new here, then that's cool too. Hello. Today I'm going to be sharing with you six healthy morning habits. And I'm very excited to be teaming up with the very lovely Gillian Perkins here on YouTube. She is an author, she's an entrepreneur, and she makes videos on here as well on intentional living, on entrepreneurship. She's got a lot of really great motivational, inspirational videos that I think you guys will really love. So be sure to check her out after this video. She's going to be sharing six of her healthy morning habits as well. The first time of the day, you know, the fir our first moments of the day can really set up set us up for a good rest of our day or for a not so good rest of our day and even just the little things that we do when we get up uh, can have a big impact on how the rest of our day unfolds. So here are my six healthy morning habits and some tips on how to have a good morning. Number one is don't look at your phone right away. Many of us have our phones with us all throughout the day, into the evening, right before bed, um, and immediately when we get up in the morning. I'm guilty of this, I think a lot of us are. It's sometimes the first thing that we check. Intentionally taking your phone and putting it kind of far away from you so that you don't check it in the morning, and ideally for at least an hour not to check it. Of course, everyone's morning schedules are different and, and sometimes that's not possible, but if we can, an excellent way to start our day and there's a few reasons for this a lot of times when we are using our phone we're not just checking for messages or just you know checking for important things a lot of the time we are checking status updates social updates we're scrolling endlessly and what happens when we're doing that we're often comparing ourselves to others we're kind of getting lost in a spin of what other people are up to instead of focusing on what you know we should be up to being in that heightened more anxious mode as a result and we haven't even gotten out of bed is uh, not the best way to start your day so if you can put your phone kind of away from your bedside table and don't check it for ideally at least an hour if that's possible for you point number two is to pause and start slowly and this I find is so helpful for me I love when I get up in the morning and I take a few deep breaths and I'll maybe stretch a little bit or I'll just kind of sit there and then I'll get up. Little things like opening up my blinds. I love um, letting the daylight in and this is kind of uh, where not checking your phone is important. These little things where we're kind of being present with ourselves and with our morning uh, really has a big impact on the state of our mental and emotional health. Every morning is different and obviously there are some mornings where we're going to be rushed and we're going to be, you know, needing to run out the door. And in that case, if you can just complete a couple little tasks the night before so that your morning isn't quite as hectic, then that can uh, make a really big difference. Point number three might just be one of my favorites and that is to make your bed. This is the simplest tip that I have of them all. Actually, a couple, couple of my tips are pretty simple, but um, making your bed is one of the greatest ways for you to kind of set up your, your environment first thing in the morning as being tidy and less overwhelming and feeling less cluttered. And our environment and our surroundings have a big impact on how we feel. They can really kind of dictate whether we feel more anxious or overwhelmed or whether we feel more kind of like relaxed and our mind is at ease. I just find that something as simple as making my bed, I just feel kind of like on track and ready for the day. And going to bed with a tidy room as much as possible is just as important as waking up in, in that sort of tidy space and setting you up for a good day. Little habits like that as well, I find that the more you do them, the more they, they become a habit. So. Um, good habit to have. <laughs> Point number four is to start your day with a big glass of water. This is one of the best habits that you can have for yourself and that's because when we're sleeping through the night we become um, a little bit more dehydrated and so having a nice big glass of water first thing before we kind of carry on with the rest of our day 
is um, an excellent way to rehydrate, which can, believe it or not, increase energy levels and help to wake us up because dehydration, even just little bits of it, can um, make us feel more fatigued and low energy. So if you are a coffee drinker and if you use that as a way to kind of get your morning started, try having a, a nice big glass of water before you have your cup of coffee just to see how you feel. And if you want, you can squeeze some fresh lemon in there to kind of kickstart digestion and liver function uh, as well. Eat a nourishing breakfast. This, of course, I can't not mention as a nutritionist. This is so, so important. Now, I actually find for myself that I do really well with a little bit of intermittent fasting. I just find that it really helps my digestion and it really improves my energy levels too. But anyways, that's besides the point. Regardless of what time you have breakfast, um, make sure that you make it count and that it's nourishing. A bowl of sugary cereal and a glass of orange juice is not what I would consider a nourishing breakfast. That's going to set you up for a roller coaster of cravings. But what I do recommend is fat, fiber, and protein. And these three things help to keep our blood sugar balanced. They help to maintain balanced energy levels and so that we can avoid the roller coaster of cravings throughout the day. And my last point here is to review your to-do list or agenda and kind of get that going for the day. This is one of my favorite things that I do every single day and one of my favorite habits that I've created for myself and that is to have some sort of notebook or to-do list or agenda that I can um, write in before I go to bed so that I know what I need to do the next day and that I can also kind of update in the morning so that I know what I need to do for the rest of the day. And the reason why I love it so much is that it helps to keep me feeling a lot less stressed, more prepared, um, less anxious, and kind of just ready to go for the day. I feel like I've got, you know, I know what I need to get done and if there's something that I didn't complete then I can write that down as well. Um, this is just kind of a great little productivity hack is to always keep track of the little things that you want to get done um, throughout the day. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. All of these habits are things that I personally love to, to have myself in my life. They really help me. Be sure to check out Gillian as well. I will leave a link below to her video where she's sharing her six healthy morning habits. Be sure to follow me on all my social platforms. You can subscribe to my channel for weekly videos and I will see you guys next week. Bye.